at the TWA Hotel at JFK Airport. I had a really long layover, a seven and a half layover, and I always wanted to check out this hotel at JFK, and I thought it was the perfect opportunity because I'm riding, so I came uh, for my Turkey trip, and I took Turkish Airlines that came in uh, Terminal 1, and then I'm transferring to JetBlue, which is in Terminal 5, and TWA Hotel just happens to be by Terminal 5. So I thought it was the perfect time to check this place out. Plus, you know, instead of finding lounges for six hours or so, I thought, you know, it'd be nice to have a place that I can relax. So TWA Hotel actually has day rates, um, and I think you can book them from like four hour window, six hour window, eight hour windows. And I booked mine for a six hour window from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., which was perfect because my flight landed around 11 a.m., went through customs, rechecked my luggage, blah, blah, blah. And all by the time I was done with all that, it was already past noon, so checked in right away. It's not cheap here, but I wanted to check it out for like the longest time. The rates start at $200. I think you can go a little bit cheaper if you do like the four hour window, but usually, yeah, it's, per it's pretty much on the hefty side for pricing, but you know, they did a fantastic job with this theme hotel. And it's convenient right at JFK Airport. So this hotel was built in 2019. It used to be an actual terminal back in the day from the 1960s. But in 2001, business was going down, so they closed the airline down, TWA, which was Trans World Airlines, and I believe American Airlines took over. So yeah, the building, or the terminal, was empty for quite some time, and finally, uh, in 2015, they announced that they were going to remodel it into a hotel, and they turned it into a really spectacular 1960s themed hotel. So they have several rooms you can choose from. I chose the most basic room um, with two queen beds. You could get a runway view, but since I was only doing the day tripper rate, they didn't have any runway views available, which is fine because I didn't think I should spend too much money on a six hour stay. But if you're staying overnight and want to splurge a little, you know, you have that option as well. If you want to really splurge, they have um, really specific designed rooms, um, which look really cool. So might want to do that as well. And this hotel has lots of things you can do. They have a museum. They have, you know, fun exhibits. They have, um, they call the Connie airplane where you can have cocktails inside the airplane. They also have some games, um, lounges, uh, cafes, eateries. They also have a rooftop and a pool deck upstairs, but I was just told they had to pay extra for that, which is an extra $50, which is, I think, I don't know, that kind of sucks. But uh, I'm gonna see if I could take some pictures up there, if possible. If not, it's there. <laughs> um, I guess it, they used to not charge that because when I read reviews before, they used to be free. You can just go up whenever you wanted to and use their facilities, but I guess they just decided they want to charge people now. I wasn't going to use a pool anyway, but I just wanted to see what the rooftop was like. So, oh well. And they also have a really huge gem. So if I find it, I'll probably check that out too. So anyway, let me give you a tour of the room I booked. So starting here, they have a little area where you can have some drinks if you would like. And a fridge, I believe this used to be stocked with some drinks and cocktails probably, but you know, since it's the pandemic right now, they have emptied it so you can just use the fridge if you would like. This down here was so cool. <gasps> this is their safety deposit box. Look at how huge it is. And it's very sturdy. Like, you know, they, they used to make and you open it up. I mean, it's huge in here too. And right next to it is where you can hang your clothes, which I did. Changed out of my travel clothes and um, change it to something much lighter for right now until I have to go back on the airplane. Here is a full length mirror and a place where you can store your luggage, which I did, and some extra storage if you need. And right next to that is a working desk. And they have an area here where it says you can place recyclables here or place garbage here. It's the first time I've seen anything like that. It just says, thanks for helping us be the greenest building in New York City. 
and I am staying in room 824, which I believe is their top floor. Um, when I took the elevator up, that was the highest floor it went to. And of course, their old school phone, so neat. I love these old school phones. <laughs> And they've got a notepad and a bunch of pencils. I wish there were pens, I would take one for a souvenir, but I never use pencils, so. They're here if you like pencils and if you want a souvenir. And right next to the desk is a lamp and a lounge chair. And this is the view from my window, so it's not anything significant, but it's there, you know. You can see some cars driving. Some New York taxi cabs, some people walking. And I believe over there uh, across the way is um, the walkway from AirTran to Terminal 5, which is that way. And these are my beds. I always get two queen beds because I like to have one extra to place my things on. And then the other one to sleep. And I got some cute posters here. California, Switzerland, Africa, and a nightstand with uh, USB chargers and a wireless phone, ch phone charger, which I don't have. They also have a digital air conditioning system and a really big TV. <laughs> and here is the bathroom. I really love these lights on the mirror here. And it's so bright, which I love. Uh, and here's some soap by C.O. Bigelow. Vegetable soap, oh, okay. Um, nice sink area. Lots of towels they provided. And a pretty big stand-up shower. Very clean, of course. And then you'll get a conditioner, shampoo, and body cleaner. And that's the room. All right, so now I'm gonna check out the rest of the hotel because they have so much to offer. They have these cute little exhibits everywhere, which I kind of took a little glance at. And they also have a cool uh, lobby area and um, cafe. So I'm very hungry. I'm hoping, hoping that I can get something to eat. These hallways are so cool. population of the U.S. was 186 million. Today, it's nearly twice that at 329 million. <laughs> I like how they replicated a 1960s room. I was going to rest a little bit, but I was just so excited about staying here that I think I got maybe like an hour's worth of rest. But you know, it's fine, I can rest on the plane. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, bye.